Hey everybody, my name is Carl Slaap and I'm a watchmaker here in the Netherlands. Today we'll do this Rolex Submariner a complete overhaul and the way I see it, plenty of work. So what do we have here? The beautiful Submariner. Uh, please remember we are looking through a microscope so we see everything. Uh, don't be startled. Uh, it is a well used Submariner. There's a huge scratch here, even it's uh, a sapphire crystal. I think the dial has seen a bit of moisture somewhere in this line. Oh, you can see here the crystal very worn. Well, it's a watch to be worn. Well, let's have a look. A uh, piece of plastic so I don't make any scratches. There is the rotor. And you can see it already. It's been uh, worn. And because there you can see that line. And especially over there. That the, the rotor was moving about a bit. So uh, probably yeah, a bit banging or stuff. So, and you can see it here on the rotor. You see it here, the end is slightly shaved off. And that it can probably be seen on the other side. Yeah, there. Inside the case back, there you can see the line. Where the rotor was touching the case back. If I push here, yeah, you can see there is a bit of play. I push here on the rotor, it's an uh, automatic winding system. So if I press here, you can see over there. So it is about time for, uh, for some maintenance. Oh carbon tip tweezers to pick up the rotor again don't make any scratches so there we are there is the axle of the rotor and there is the the play visible because this should be dead straight and that is worn what i love about this movement i really do love and that's a sign for me of real excellence and that is the free sprung balance here with the breguet overcoil and no timing pins and the timing is just being done with the weights on the balance here's the hacking function so i'm going to pull the crown and the balance wheel will stop there it goes. There you see the weights. Uh, two big ones, two smaller ones. There you can see the big one and the smaller one. And that's for simply for the fine tuning and the timing. And once the timing has been done, uh, nothing will change because these weights, there and there, uh, simply stay in place so lovely construction what are we going to do a full revision uh, it's time to uh, take it apart put all the parts through the cleaning machine make sure all the old oil and lubrication is dissolved and after that we start rebuilding it and with every single part we make sure that uh, the play and the end shake and all the settings are well uh, perfect and then we build up part, part by part and at the end we have a perfectly running watch uh, freshly lubricated and ready for servers for six seven eight years maybe um, here is the crown for winding here you can see the ratchet wheel with some 
debris on it and uh, click over there. First I'm going to remove the automatic winding module, you can call it a module, and then it's so much easier to uh, take off the power from the main barrel. Uh, then I'll take out the crown, then the movement out of the case, make sure the hands are safe, the dial is safe, and then we start uh, uh, disassembling the watch. There we have the watch automatic winding module and you can see the black specks, specks everywhere maybe we can see where they're from if a watchmaker uh, says uh, a movement needs to be cleaned we're not talking about dirt uh, coming in from the outside coming in but this is usually um, lubrication, old grease, uh, with some microscopic filings and stuff going all through the, the movement. Uh, so it doesn't really mean dirt is coming from the outside. And we already can see. Look at the barrel. It is really about time for the overhaul. This is excessive, that's a lot. And there you can see it is really, really about time. But we're watchmakers and we're gonna make it perfect again. Okay, time to remove the crown simply by pushing there. So there's a crown. Hey, there you can see some. There's some rust. And this is interesting. Well, of course, with an overhaul, we are going to replace all uh, seals. So especially a Submariner should be waterproof. That seal definitely needs to be replaced. There are two seals here. Ah, look at that. These are so old seals. Look at that. Well, I turned that one and that screw inwards. And then simply move it like this. And then you can see this skirt of the screw is underneath the ridge and when you just turn the movement there it releases the skirt the same here you can see this recess well now it's locked the movement cannot come out of the back but now it can, and here it can, there, and it's so simple, just simply do it like that. Well, again we see slightly the moisture. If we play with the light and I really want to see what that white thingy is over there. There it's gone. So simply some moisture 
on the dial. No stress. Not touching the dial. Not touching the hands because there's a foil in between. Dial feed screw number two. There. And you can see the slight oxidation around the, the hole for the for the winding stem. You can see there's a, a slight uh, milled out piece there. So you can uh, move the dial up without making scratches. And now we'll have a look underneath the dial. Oh, look at this. You already see some white residue. Well, there's been some moisture. If I use a pack wood, again, no scratches, but that is uh, uh, a residue from uh, moisture.